Welcome to Melita's Delicacies. Friends, today I have a very interesting recipe to you and that is the squid chili fry. Here I have squids. So let's together make the chili fry. And do subscribe to my channel. Press the bell icon for notification of my every new upload. First, let us clean the squids. It is very important to clean the squids thoroughly well. Remove this ink sac of the squid completely out and also the mouth of the squid it is inedible and you need to remove this part of the, of the squid and also scoop out anything that is there inside the, the squid and wash them thoroughly well. Here I have cleaned all my squids. Here you see the flap which the squids have. Since we are making the chili fry, uh, we need to remove this up because we are going to cut the squids into ringlets. And when you are removing the flap, the skin also comes out. So it's better that you remove the skin of the entire squid. And here I have the tentacles which I will chop and keep aside to make a chili fry some other day. Cut the squeeze into ringlets. Don't cut them very fine. Keep them little chunky kind of like. Cut all likewise. And friends, I have a recipe of stuffed squids. So please do watch that recipe as well. I'm going to give the link in the description down below. And the flaps or the wings of the squids, cut them into long and add them. Here I have cut all my squids. I have chopped off my uh, tentacles also and I am going to store them to use them for some other recipe later. Now let's season the squids with 1 tablespoon of sea salt, half teaspoon of turmeric powder, 1 tablespoon of ginger garlic paste, massage into the squids and let them rest for about 15 to 20 minutes. Until then, let's prepare uh, the other ingredients. It's very important that you rest the squeeze to get well marinated. Here I have about three capsicum. They are totally optional, but they do add a special flavor into the chili fry. And I have here two ripe tomatoes, two onions and few chilies. I'm going to use only half of each of the capsicum. I'm using them so that they add a nice color to my chili fry. Here I have got a baby capsicum free with the mother capsicum. If you get one, you are lucky. Cut them into long strips. Don't make them very fine also because after they are getting cooked, they become very fine. Cut the onion also in lengthwise. And friends, do watch my other fish recipes of the fish cutlets and all those. I have here about four green chilies. Slit them. You can also cut them very fine and use. 
but I uh, just slit and add them so that after the chili fry is cooked I can just remove and discard them especially when you have small children in the house who would be eating that it's better. cut the tomatoes also lengthwise add about four tablespoon of oil in a pan and let it heat up after that add the marinated squeeze to it and let them and cook for about 10 minutes lower the flame and let it cook in its own water because the squeeze release a lot of water until then take oil in a pan add your cut onions add half teaspoon of cumin seeds and about five cloves of garlic finely sliced or chopped this is again garlic is optional but i like them in my chili fry add the sweet green chilies saute for a minute add the tomatoes give it a good mix when you're doing this let your flame be on high constantly stirring it add the capsicum and keep stirring it on high flame these after 10 minutes are cooked but you can see that there is a lot of uh, uh, water from the squeeze that they have released I will let it cook for another two minutes then let the water evaporate here my sweet water has evaporated boil and add the taste is different but if you fry them like this way the taste of the chili fry is really very delicious add this to your sauteed cheese give a very good mix at this time add about two uh, spicy red chilies add about three four kokum pieces i'm adding here one teaspoon of green chili paste half teaspoon of freshly pounded black pepper give it a good mix to balance the flavors i am adding one tablespoon of tomato ketchup this is my homemade tomato ketchup my recipe is there in my channel please do watch i'm going to give the link in my description do watch it comes really delicious give a good mix you might feel that that i have added a lot of chili chili fry has to be you know a little bit spicy then only it will be a chili fry but you can always adjust it to your individual preference of chili to balance the flavors of spiciness i have added here a half teaspoon of vinegar and i have also adding here half teaspoon of salt Just adding about two tablespoon of water so that everything comes to a combine. Add the chopped coriander and give it a mix. The chili fry is ready to be relished. Do try this recipe of squid chili fry of mine and don't to forget to give me a feedback in the comment section. Press the bell for notification of my new recipes that I upload every week. Thank you for watching this video. Till the end, see you next week with yet another interesting recipe. Until then, take care, stay safe, be blessed. Thank you and God bless you.